Hi, welcome to uh, my Blender tutorial on how to make a Cuban. Um, I like to just skip the intro, get right into it. So, first thing we're gonna do is open up Blender. Um, you wanna click inside of it. As you can see, the cube is regular looking. I'm gonna show you how to make it how I like to make it look so you can see it better. Um, we're gonna end up deleting this because you always want to delete the initial scene. It's like tradition in Blender. I just want to show you guys how to make the cube look in a way how I like to make it look. So, you want to go up here in the drop down viewport shading. You want to click this. You want to click this. Then you want to go back face calling. This is so you can see your faces if your faces are flipped. So, for example, um. If your faces look like this and then you'll try to bring it in game and it'll be invisible and you will just have a huge headache and you'll be annoyed because you do a lot of work and it'll be inverted faces so for us to see that we need this checked if we don't have this checked you won't be able to see that um, also you want to go cavity then we'll go instead of screen we'll go to both and then we'll max these out and this is so as you can see we can see the outlines and everything in the cube and when you start meshing you'll be able to see your lines clearer and everything else so yeah highly recommend um click a and then x to delete the scene because we never work with that we always add new objects into blender we don't use that cube i don't know why no one uses it so yeah um, so I so we're doing the Cuban. We want to add the circle, so Shift A, uh, curve, circle. Now um, wait, I forgot to tell you. Um, click this up here and overlays. Click statistics. You always want this up so you can see how many vertices you got. If you got over a certain amount of vertices, you won't be able to import something into a video game or whatever you want to do. So. Always check your vertices, make sure your vertices is valid. Um, so yeah, now we got the circle. We wanna go into the front view. So you use your right side of your keyboard. Um, click one to the front orthographic view, or you could use these hot, like, you know, these right here. You can also use these to move around, you know, pan around, um, rotate around, zoom in. Click that for the camera. Yeah, I never clicked that, so I don't I don't even want to try now. <laughs> but um so boom you got the circle in. Click one, get to the front orthographic view, or do it through here. Then you click Y. Um scale it. S five we'll say. This is just so you can see it. Um it's bigger. Um so we're in object mode right now. You want to click tab to go into edit mode. Um, I actually learned this from YouTube, but like I put my own little wave to it. So yeah, you want to click the the middle of it, which is going to be either or edge, and you want to rotate it. So go back to the front view. Click while you have one of the middles selected, either or doesn't matter. Then you want to rotate it 45 degrees. We're gonna click it again. We're gonna rotate that minus 45 degrees. So you click the minus key on your keyboard, and uh, yeah, minus that. Um, it should look like this so far. It looks weird when you look at it from a different angle. So go back to front. Then you can click X or you can click three to go to the side view, and you wanna also rotate these. Make sure you you grab the right one and you're rotating it the right way because you could do this, you could do R45 and it'll look like that. So you don't want that. So R minus 45. And then and the way how I'm going back after I like, you know, do like a, if I do something in Blender and I don't want to do it and I want to like undo it, I'll just click Control Z to go back. So I did this. So now let me click the middle again. Let me rotate that. 45 you want this um, sideways 8 from this side like the infinity sign or whatever um, 
now we have like a Cuban kind of shape um, once we have this we're going to go to the uh, object data properties tab and you want to click geometry and you want to up the depth the depth a bit um so wait go back to one click one on the right side of your keyboard or go click y to go back to front orthographic view um play with this you don't want it looking all weird like that you want it to be like thick so um yeah make it like this or however you want to make it i would choose to make it like this it just looks nice to me um once you have it like this i get out of edit mode it doesn't matter if you're in edit mode i just had to get out so i can go to um wow i forgot how to do this <laughs> nah let me stop so what we want to do is um right click and then convert to mesh there we go once we convert it to mesh now we can sculpt it and that's what i wanted to do is drop down and go to sculpt now that we're in sculpt mode um we want to scroll down on the sculpt tab and we want to go to the box trim yeah we want to go to that and we want to um get a nice little angle on it and box trim it which is cutting it and making that flat top surface where you want to add your diamonds or if you don't want to add diamonds um it's up to you so boom we'll do that like that and we'll look at it in a different view and we'll see that we have like a cuban link um now that we have the tops cut off um if you want to cut the bottoms off you can i mean a cuban is however you want to make it you can make a cuban like I said, however you want to make it. So get out of scope mode. We want to go back into edit mode. And edit mode is a place where you can do a lot of your meshing. Scope mode, you'll scope the mesh. Um, vertex paint, I have no idea. I have never used that. Weight paint is for like when you rig stuff. Um, texture paint, don't really use that. Um, I just do all my textures in GIMP or Photoshop or Substance Painter, whatever you want to do. I prefer GIMP. I don't know why it's just easy to me. Um, so, we want to go into edit mode, correct? We want to click three on um, our main number keys, or you could just click this up here. These are three types of selections, I guess. Select modes, you have edge, which is these uh like loops you have vertex which is these dots um and the face so we want to click each face um so now that we have each face selected oh i had to stretch now that we have each face selected um we want to insert i think it's called insert yes insert the faces so um you want to click I and we want to click I twice this is me clicking I once if you click I once it's gonna do whoa yeah it's supposed to do something else usually if you click I once it'll like merge both of the faces but to be safe we click I twice and then we insert it like this and once we have it like a good you don't want to OD because if you OD then it's like you know weird looking I don't know why um that's probably happening because of the sculpt or this method if you mesh it yourself usually that won't happen because you have good faces now we'll insert it like this uh give it a little like um space in between the face and the edge and then we'll click E after we already selected this and left how it was, now we'll click E to extrude. And you want to make sure that it's on the Z axis. So it's going to automatically do this. If it doesn't do it, then you just click Z. If it's like this, you just click Z. Now you're doing it on the Z axis, which is what you want to do. 
and like inside of here is where you place your diamonds and whatnot um so yeah uh click z take shoot it on the z axis um once we have it extruded on the z axis now we can um i don't want to do anything else i'll show you guys how to place diamonds on a different class um that'll just be you know yeah so now i'm gonna click seven in seven i'm looking at it from the top orthographic view the top view um this is just because when we duplicate this multiple times we're able to see how we want to place it on the chain so now let's add another circle and we're adding another circle because this is going to be the base of where we <coughs> god damn <laughs> of where we place um this cuban link the cuban links on so we're going to add another circle um yeah so we're at a circle and we're going to scale this circle we're just going to leave it like that for now um so once we scale the circle like that also if you don't want to see i don't like seeing these i don't know why it just hurts my eyes so like you can like right click it and then go to like uh i don't like these either so i usually go like shade smooth it looks weird right here wow that didn't do anything all right forget it so i'm just leave it like this usually i like to like smoothen it out um because um it's just better to look at so once we have it like this we're going to go to the, to the top view which is seven on the right side of the keyboard the little cheat numbers over there um once we have it like this we want to go to the modifier properties um once we click that we want to go to add modifier we want to click array and this is just duplicating it multiple times also you want to make sure that your origins in the middle right here and if it's not then you can click control a and then click all transforms to, to bring that to the middle right there the origin is this little orange looking dot so go back to seven as you can see it's like this um we want to play with the factor to wherever you like it cubans don't matter you can have it like this you can have it like this you got like you know this um i'm gonna i'm gonna go with mm, 0.6 i just like it when it's like close together like that just looks better in my opinion once we have like that we want to just go crazy um <laughs> go to like 35 and as you can see while you're doing this you want to watch your vertices because certain games you can't do too many vertices um 65,000 and below is usually a good number um sometimes you could bring in 100,000 500,000 a million but you have to do a lot of like extra steps um not too much but it's a lot of like cutting in half and adding it to a box it's a lot of manipulating um a lot of people gatekeep that and they don't tell you so you have to kind of figure it out but i'm gonna tell you though in later classes don't worry about that i got you so um we're gonna go to add modifier we're gonna go to curve and this is basically adding this cuban to this curve right here so click the eyedropper and then click the curve boom now it looks all distorted right now it's because it's all bunched up so we want to click s and scale it to when we get it like you know if you want to get more accurate scales you while you have it scaling hold shift so you could do like a slower you know kind of scaling so once we have like that we can see the ending point is connected well um once we have like this and we go out and out of that view and we look around we can see it it's somewhat a cuban um 
to make it this is like a choker um you can if you want to make it like a chain to sit on your neck you can go like let's see click that inner circle click tab to go to edit mode um then you can click um you can manipulate this so you could click either or side click g z to bring it down on the z axis and this is going to be like the front so this part will be where you put the pendant at if you want to pend it or not as you can see it kind of like broke it which is because it didn't have enough um arrays so you just want to up the array count boom and then you want to scale it back to you know how you want it then you want to click the inner circle again click tab click a for all of them and you want to click control t and this is just to tilt it that way it has that you know effect where it's sitting on your you know your neck you can adjust this to any character just make sure you have the character there and then you can adjust it to the neck and you can move this control i mean g y on the y axis to bring it tighter in and you'll have to adjust the arrays to bring it out more you can change the loops however you want to do it um i have more videos in the future because i'm trying to do this like youtube blender so um yeah bear with me it's my first video you know i'm learning it's a lot of bad you know it's, a little bit of background noise right now but it's all right though you know that's life you can't stop the world just because you want to make a video sometimes um so boom um if you want to give it like the um you know like a more like pointy kind of thing you can do that it, it'll kind of mess up the mesh if you can see in the front right there but use your preference whatever you're doing you'll learn over time that you can manipulate it however you want to manipulate it so um that's a quick tutorial on how to make a little cuban um i'll show you guys more in the future right now this is it's eight in the morning so it's like i just kind of woke up so i figured oh look, let me let me make a video real quick let me try to teach y'all something but um hit me up if you want to learn anything you got any questions just hit me up I always answer questions um i don't gatekeep at all um, I don't tuck no sauce. I just, uh, yeah, sometimes I'll be like um, busy, so it's like I can't get into details of what I'm going to tell you. Also, like I said, I'm having paid classes for those people who want to learn and make money, you know. Um, this ain't no, none of those YouTube scamming, you know, people who always try to scam you out, try to sell you a dream. You can really make money off this, but it's up to you though. I ain't forcing nobody. Um, so yeah, that's how you make Cuban. If you wanna learn how to make diamonds, I may make another video on how to make diamonds. I'll probably just start. Um I I have a lot that I have a lot that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about just saying forget it and just dropping videos and just teaching people or having classes for those select. So it's like I'm thinking about it, but this is what we have. We have a Cuban right here. Um, I may make another video where you put the diamonds on it. I'm probably talking too much, but hey, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, man. I right. see ya.